Hey guys, uh, just Ryan from the Private Banking Forum here. Um, just um, just doing a uh, recap on my live train journal today. Um, I took a, um, a great position on the Euro this morning. Um, just a lot of stuff I've been lining up here, and uh, so I just jumped on board. I mean, the main thing I've been looking at is um, just quickly is uh, basically we sold off and um, from a, a bracket high area and. Um, so we attached a Midas VWAP from here, and as you can see, this uh, has been working out great. And um, we finally came down to this longer term sort of VWAP, and um, found support here. And we've um, we saw a mean reversion type scenario on this, and uh, ended up finding support at the um, anchored VWAP from up here. And um, I mean, this has been uh, in the process for about two days now. I mean, um, we basically came up, and um, uh, we found a we opened gap up and we had a nice sort of trend up day and then yesterday we just balanced and um, today we opened up above the point of control and um, inside of value and uh, we sort of balanced this morning and see um, another t the sort of bigger time frame come in and push this f up through support and um, got a double distribution sort of trend day underway here so I mean what I was seeing um, on the on the developing distribution is um, I mean, we saw this sort of buying, uh, this buying from the gap up day, and then we we balanced, and um, well, obviously the other side of this distribution curve is going to be up here. So um, this this auction is continuing to bring in new activity and more volume at the minute. And um, so what I was, what I basically did was to look to buy the point of control, and um, with a, with a, with looking to see a breakout today, which is exactly what we see. Um, so just uh, a quick explanation of what I've done here and, um, and what I'm doing at the minute is obviously this market is out of balance, out of value, I'm fully scaled out managing my core position and um, I'm just uh, seeing if we can um, if we can potentially move higher here I mean we've got a gap fill level at about 103.04 so I'm looking for a test of this 103.04 um, to see what response we get here and um, but what we, what we can see from um, today's profile is obviously we had the small distribution uh, below and now we've got a, a new distribution new valley in there at the developing valley area and we've seen uh, more volume coming in here so I'm expecting to try see this um, continue to sort of uh, one time frame higher um, obviously if we see this market um, accept and uh, find some sellers to come below the um, the 10 uh, the, the 32 sort of 90 or 85 area and then um, then this trade will be. Uh, I'll be getting out of this uh, this trading position. But I mean, we are sort of out of balance on the ETH session. And, um, it does look like we've got a rising VWAP here. So just a couple of things I'm sort of uh, paying attention to. I mean, regards the target area for this. I'm just going to see what reaction we get um, with the gap fill highs. But I'm seeing if we can um, target the the the, the one three 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 two area. I mean, two concerns I have at the minute is just above the the thirteen hundred area on the 13,000 or the 1,000 or whatever you want to call it I mean we've got um, last month's uh, VWAP is at uh, 33.12 and we've got last week's VWAP at 33.05 uh, 33.10 so obviously these are going to be um, <coughs> uh, great reference points um, for the large sort of time, uh, time frame traders here so I'm just going to see what um, reaction we get here but as you can see we are at a balance out of value for the month and we do have a rising VWAP this month rejecting value holding VWAP so I'm just going to see what uh, what happens here and um, I mean, you can clearly see that since we've um, we see this breakout and uh, we have formed a new sort of balance area here and um, it does look to me like there are buyers absorbing these these higher price levels so I am expecting um, like I said a move out of this area and a continue auction higher I'm just going to monitor it and um, and just 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 uh, see what happens here anyway I'll keep you posted as this uh, as this develops more here's the quick update on this trade I'm still in on the euro um, I mean it's a great place to add down here but I just sort of missed the opportunity um, just wanted to see what happened um, basically what I see was is we traded into a support level that I was looking at and um, which is the lower this sort of distribution area it's been a previous support area so um, this also lined up with uh, the monthly and the weekly uh, VWAPs but um, 
I was just seeing if we could also, I suppose, get a bit greedy, sort of test higher. I mean, it makes sense with what's happening in the day time frames. I mean, we've got this sort of huge sort of shift in momentum on the daily moving averages, and we came down to test the 200, the 100, and we've held these levels. So this could be like a, a third longer term wave up. That's what I'm looking at here, and obviously the all the powers of um, a shift into the upside, and we sort of broken out here. So I'm seeing if we can see a longer term move to the upside in the euro here. But um, what I saw as we came up and tested this level was um, we didn't really see a, an excess form. I mean, we we came up and um, and we just basically rotated and, and uh, filled some volume in here. I mean, we could see some. I mean, it's looked like it's, at the time it looked like um, absorption at the high of the the valley area, high on our THV web, and um, we just basically lingered in this area for 40 minutes. I think this bar was, and suddenly this sort of algorithm come into the market and basically just shook the market up back down to VWAP. And um, you can see this uh, this happened pretty quick. I mean, this bar here was seven seconds, and um, this bar here was 26 seconds and this was about four minutes so into VWAP and um we could see sort of some big absorption down here at the uh the seven where is it at the 93 level which was um basically lower of this uh, this new developing distribution so um what i was looking to do was try add here but obviously with what i see at the highest here and where we was in the market i was a bit skeptical and i basically missed the opportunity and um this last period i mean i period was very very balanced and um they basically bid the market up in I period above the point of control, and then J period they basically we've just found we've just found a seller basically just um pushed this back up to the out of um, ETH um, development value area high and back up to um the RTH development uh, value area high, and again I can see more volume coming in here, so I am anticipating um a continuation of this auction higher, and again I am focusing on the at the one at the three 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 two area as a as a potential um profit target. Obviously, if we can't see this market continue here, um, then um, I'll look to take profit. But we are looking good for a continuation of this auction higher. I mean, what I've noticed in the euro that I've been looking at the last couple of weeks is it's like a, the delta that works the opposite way. Um, like when this market comes, like it seems that because of the lack of volatility and volume in this market, even though there is a lot of volume in this market, it's like the ES. It just doesn't seem to be a lot of volatility in this market. So what happens is, is it seems that the market basically a bigger buyer or seller will come in, push the market up to a level, and then they will like bait the sellers in so they can get more buying absorption done, which it looks like it's been happening here. And then once they finish absorbing price and getting in what they want to get in, then they will continue to bid this market. I mean, this is just an observation. It's not a written rule or right or wrong. It's just what I'm looking at in this market at the minute. It just seems to be a lot different from the ES and the and the crew with the way that the tape gets filled and the distributions get um, are filled. It seems to be more of a passive market where um, people spend a lot more time passively filling orders rather than being aggressive and bidding the market above and below the offer. But once like a nice distribution's been formed, then someone will come in and aggressively move this out out. Of value in a way and creating a new value area. Anyway, like I said, I'll keep you um, up to date on how I continue to manage this trade. <clears throat> like I said, the, the 3332 area is my is my profit target on this on this trade. So keep you posted. Okay, nearly um, at my target area now, uh, about five ticks away. I mean, just uh, really trying to hold this um, pro this target area as um, it's a very very visual uh, reference in the market. I mean, we've come through the um, the monthly and the weekly uh, previous point of controls uh, VWAPs now, so um, I am expecting a, a test of this um, of this uh, three 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 two area. Obviously, if um, if uh, the bidding just completely dries up here, I'm just going to close the trade out. But I do, like I said, I do think we're going to come up and test this um, this three three two area. It's a very visual area in the market, so we're back into this previous um, value area now. So just um, see what happens here I mean we have got a sort of excess high now on this market so I'm um, being pretty careful I'm just um, like I said just monitoring this uh, for continuation and um, a, a visual test of this reference anyway I'll keep you posted okay, I just want to um, finish this video um, it's actually pretty late here it's uh, 8.30 now Eastern time um, I uh, 
basically just didn't finish this recording. Um, I just got out of my entry into the close and um, I had to shoot out and do some stuff this off, uh, this evening. So I mean, just had some free time to finish this off and um, just to wrap this up and upload it. So what um, I ended up doing is we just basically um, we spiked up and uh, put in this very low volume and this market just basically fell back down into um, support and there was just nothing going on into the close and I basically I ended up exiting um, uh, one at, f at 14, uh, 33, 14 and um, so I never got my target, my potent my target filled at the 30s at this point of control uh, so just um way things go, it's still a great trade <coughs> So uh, just for going into tomorrow, um, what I'm looking at is on this market is this current distribution we put in. Um, you can see we sort of aggressive. I've split these two distributions up off the off the bottom because we we see a gap up, and so I just started tracking this new distribution after uh, distribution forming after the gap up, and this is um, what we're looking at at the minute. Obviously, um, it's a bit of a rough trade on the TPOs here, so. But we've got a clear sort of ledge and a clear upper distribution formed um, a sort of balance area. So if we uh, open uh, up higher tomorrow, then um, I'll be leaning off of these levels. Possibly, um, we could see this market come back and uh, fill some more volume in here before um, before moving up. But it does uh, still look quite strong. I mean, we have no, we have a little bit of excess to work with, but the auction still looks pretty strong to the upside at the minute. I mean, regards some um, some higher time frames. Sort of looking at um, the 33.47 for the quarterly VWAP uh, volume area high as a potential overhead targets, and um, just uh, some other VWAPs that we're looking at as we continue higher here. And um, so the main thing to note is on the daily. We're sort of in this bracket, so we'll maybe see what happens here. We had a previous sort of uh, balance, temporary uh, short term balance area, and uh, the highs of this bracket is um, currently um, 1.342, uh, 1 2, sorry, and uh, we have got excess up here at the minute. <coughs> We've got excess gap uh, as well. The moving averages are looking quite strong to the upside, or we'll just um, all start to turn around again, so be interesting to see. If we continue here, I mean, MCAD's starting to look a little bit bullish. Um, it's still below zero though. But anyway, um, hope you had a great day and um, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Take care. Bye.